Okay, we're live. Hi, welcome to the Kearns branch of the Salt Lake County Library System. I'm here with Trish Cole, manager of the Kearns branch, and we're here to give you a tour. If you remember, we've got Family Support Center's Making Memories Bingo going on all month. One of the squares is visit your local library. So come with us and let's visit. Shall we go on a tour? Please. All right. Where should we start? Should we start at our create space? All right. Start with our most exciting stuff. Very good. This is awesome. Oh, wow. So, this is Courage Create Space. It's the largest one in the system right now, and we're really excited about it. Let's go into our sound recording studio first. This is so spectacular. Oh. So we have instruments, we have a keyboard, we have a drum pad, and on the computer we have all of the software you need to mix to record. Plus you could do a podcast, whatever you'd like. We also have a green screen you can check out and cameras that you can use in this space if you want to do a video presentation of some kind. And this will be available free. You can just come in and uh, reserve a time and a space and we'd love to have you come in and use it. But I love it. In a few weeks, we aren't quite open yet as far as spaces go, but it, within a month or so, we're hoping to have this place where you can come in and, and reserve this. Hooray! Lift it! Yes, lift we're the almost there. We're almost there. It's so true. Oh. So the other things we have, you may not know that you can check out telescopes at any Salt Lake County library. And we do have four-inch telescopes. We have robotics, virtual reality, robotics for older kids and adults, and then this is for our littles. That is awesome. We do have a large printer and a plotter because we have four computers, two PCs and two Macs that have all of the Adobe Creative Suite on them. So if you want to do something on InDesign or on Photoshop and you need to print it a little bigger, you're able to do that here in our space. I love it. We have several 3D printers, 3D printers. Everything in this space is designed to be a do-it-yourself. But we also right now are doing 3D printing where if you just send us a print job, we'll print it for you. We have a bike repair station and we have all the tools you need to fix your bike. Including generator. A generator we have the, the pump. So if you need to do any bike repairs, we even have a book because we are a library, right? Now this is our laser cutter. This is a glow forge. Laser cutters are really cool. They cut wood, they cut all kinds of materials. For example, this book, this box, book box, used to be just a flat piece of wood. We were able to etch and engrave this beautiful cover. And then you cut this wood and it makes it so it's pliable. And then you cut all the little pieces out and glue them on. So there's a lot of creative things you can do with a laser cutter. So amazing. We also have a cricket, which is a vinyl cutter. You've seen those cute sayings all over the walls cut with vinyl. You can do those here. You can also cut paper. We've cut a lot of little chickies to talk about our chickens. So cricket, most people are kind of aware of what a cricket does. This is a sublimation printer. So a sublimation printer takes your design, puts it on paper, then using a heat press, you can put it right on the fabric. It's not an iron-on, it's down into the fabric. You can also do it with mugs. We have the mug press. And so it goes into the ceramics. You can do it on cute little key ring type thingies. Or you can do them on mouse pads, anything. There are a lot of different things you can purchase that you can put those your photos or your designs on. They're really fun. Here's our computers we were talking about that have Adobe Creative. They also have Wacom tablets attached. So if you want to draw your own design, you can draw it on the Wacom tablet and then upload it into your InDesign or Photoshop or whatever um, Adobe, Adobe Creative Suite you're mm -hmm. working on. So we also have an embroidery machine. And, not, and of course embroidery machines have a lot of designs already in them, but we have also added software where if you want to design your own logo or picture or whatever, you can design it and then embroider it onto whatever you want to embroider on. Oh, we have a sewing machine and we have a serger. And then last but not least, although it's kind of small, <laughs> we have a binder. So we made this on the glow forge and then put the directions on how to use it. And then 
we did the binding on this cute little machine right here. So you can make your own little notebook. Oh, and for cost? So everything is free. You bring your own materials, except 3D printing, you can't bring your own filament. And so that's five cents an ounce, 50 cents set up, and that's not very expensive. Most things are pretty inexpensive. The laser cutter has some filters and things, so there's a little bit of a charge for that. Okay. It's about, I think we said, three dollars an hour. That might Unbelievable. Be yeah, it's pretty cheap to use the laser cutter. That's awesome. Um, and any printing you do, of course, we have to pay for the paper. But that's all. You bring your own materials for everything else. The actual use of the machines and everything is free. We're not going to charge you. The sound recording studio is free. So all of that. We're the library, right? And just so you know, all Salt Lake County libraries are open. So if you want to visit your local Salt Lake County library, you are welcome to do that right now. One of the things that I love is that we can use the library system and we can come to our local neighborhood library branch and reserve, have the books come, have the materials come to you right in your own neighborhood. Yes. Right. And you don't have to go to your neighborhood library. Salt Lake County is a system. You can go to every branch you want in the system. So you're welcome to come to Kearns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on out to Kearns. Make it a, a play day. So I wanted to stop for just a second. Can you tell me about the seed library? So this is a really cool idea that one of our librarians, Christopher Gray, had. And so you can come in and one per day, five seeds per person per day. You can come in and grab a pack of carrots, beans, cantaloupe, broccoli, onions. We even have um, a few flowers down here. And we're working on getting a few more exotic ones. We do have a little bit like arugula, bok choy, calendula, okra. So you're welcome to come get a few seed packets, five per person per day. This has been incredibly popular. I can't tell you. We've had over 500 people have come and gotten seeds. And then it's just, it's fun. It's exciting. I got a few and I planted them last weekend. I, I can't wait to see what happens with all the rain. I'm hoping they'll grow, right? Mm -hmm. It's been really fun. We also have suggested planting dates for them so you know when to plant the seeds you get. And kids love them to pick out their favorite vegetable to eat. Isn't this a great idea for encouraging your kids to eat healthy food? Totally. Yeah. Um, you, you can always eat a carrot that you grew versus yeah. mm -hmm. mom putting a carrot on, on right? it and saying, hey, this has lots. And don't they taste better? They do. Uh, stuff <laughs> comes out of your garden tastes better, right? I just want to note how beautiful the aesthetics here in this building. How big is this library? It's just under 36,000 square feet. It's amazing. It is. It's amazing. amazing. And the Kearns community is well represented. They told us the things that they wanted, like meeting room spaces. They wanted to save the mosaics. And the administration was so great in designing this building to meet the needs of the community. We have a lot of teams that come into the library, and we've created some really great team spaces for them. The create space is for everybody, but especially designed for teens as well. We want them to come in and use it. Learn new skills. Oh, and just so have good. fun, too. Love it. So good. So notice the little chicks. We'll talk a little bit about that in just a little while. So looking for chicks. Yep. So the other piece of this library that I'm really proud of from our administration is this is a very Hispanic community. We have a high percentage of Hispanic here, and we wanted to represent that. And so instead of hiding our Spanish collection, it is front and center. So we have our children's Spanish materials on this side, and we have our adult Spanish materials on this side, and they're very front and center when you come in the library. And so we want our Spanish community to know they are welcome, and we want them here in the building. And I wish I could say that in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have someone who can if you want me to. <laughs> And that is another thing. We have six Spanish-speaking staff members. So when people come in, they will always have someone here who can speak their language and help us and help them. That's beautiful. I love it. The lighting in here, incredible. So pick up your books that you have on hold. We also have a fun staff member who has a little farm. And he brought in some eggs uh, four weeks ago so that we have some little chicks. And, when did and they, they, hatch? they hatched yesterday. So these guys are just barely 24, 36 hours old. And we're so excited. In a day, they're going to move into the fish tank. And then if you want to come in and see them, you've got to come this week. Because by next week, they'll probably go home to their moms. So, so cool. So plants and seeds. Yeah. Yeah. 
They are we, all live. We have six planters in the building with all live plants. Again, my staff member is Shane Brock, who's a farmer. Um, he loves to take care of our plants, and so they look really great and healthy. These benches are really cool. This property that our library is built on used to have an old church here, and we wanted to recycle as much as we could. And so these benches came from the beams of the chapel of the old church. We have a lot of meeting spaces. So if you needed, and again, they're not open for a few weeks. Hopefully within a month or so, we'll be able to open these spaces up. But if you need to have a study group, or you want to meet with a client, or just need to get away from home to read or something, we have study rooms you can reserve and come in. And then this is our team gaming room. So, look at the color, so bright, so fun. So again, as soon as um, we can open up these spaces, Teens can come in, we have a Switch, we downloaded a whole bunch of games to the Switch, we have board games, so, and when we do open this up to teens, there will always be an adult staff member in here present as well, to just make sure things are going well, going well right? <laughs> going well, we don't want to have any issues. We know how interesting gaming can be, and people can get pretty intense, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then this is our teen area. It's beautiful. So are we going to have a great um, demonstration of the... <laughs> so out there with everyone else. <laughs> Liza, come. We have some way cool okay, chairs. These are so much fun. And we have these in the kids' area too. But you got to see how these work. So come again, try these out. They, they really good. are fun. <laughs> amazing artist who is actually grew up in Kearns and his father grew up in Kearns and Matt Monson and he did our murals and this is the smallest one this is the Kearns future which makes a lot of sense being in the teen area because teens are our future so it's and the colors are perfect and match and it's just beautiful and vibrant we have the kids on the bikes it's just really fun and the cool. dog the dog the dog, the dog. The dog. The dog. <laughs> so this is the current the teen area where you can just hang out when we're fully open, there will be eight computers in here. Right now, there's only four computers. But, but just you to have access yes. to a computer. So this is where we want the teens to come and hang out and have a good time. Dungeons and Dragons, how to play. That's one of your online. Is that uh -huh. right? That's right. Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. And, you, you know, we're not a quiet place anymore. We aren't shushing kids all the time. Now, if you're screaming or yelling, of course, you know, indoor voices. But... We don't mind if kids come up here and talk and hang out and kind of have a good time. Another one of these beautiful live places with beautiful yes. corners. Yeah. And we're heading up the stairs, and I don't know if you notice know, the floor, how beautiful the vibrant floor is. This is vinyl, so it's really cool. cool. Yeah. And then we have the kids' area, which is really cool. And while we're up here, it might be a good place to talk about how energy efficient this building is. So this is a geothermal building. In the parking lot underneath, there are over 200 wells. The water from the building goes into those wells and the ground keeps it at 61 degrees all the time. So then the water comes back into the building at 61 degrees and then we just have to adjust the temperature from 61 degrees up. So it's a very small adjustment and very fuel efficient. So we're really excited about that. And then we have the big huge fans that help moderate the temperature as well. So they're really cool. This is our quiet area, our study area. We have some people in here. Um, it's also where our periodicals and magazines are in our newspapers. So this is our business center. And libraries have a lot of resources for small businesses. And so we want to create an area where people can come and collaborate, talk. We can help them with things. We have a copy machine, a scanner. We have all the meeting room, reading rooms businesses can meet in. We have a lot of databases that businesses can use. Um, that they can do targeted marketing make a business plan, those kinds of things from our databases. And so we're happy to help talk to, that, to them about that. Here's our second biggest meeting room. Let's check it out. Again, it's colorful. And all of our meeting rooms are very high tech. 
They all have a TV screen that you can connect a device to, either through an HDMI cord or something. And um, so if you want to be putting your presentation up, you have the technology available to do that. Just ask a librarian to help you. And we also have blinds in all these rooms, so if the sun happens to be coming, shining in, we won't blow your eyes out, right? Beautiful. So tell us about these chairs. I know there was something special yes. about them. These are recycled Coke bottle chairs. Isn't that cool? So sustainable. Yes. What a great this, this is a gold leaf building. It will be a gold leaf building when it gets officially certified. So that's exciting for us. And we're right on Main Drive so we're very visible to the community. This is one of my favorite views of the whole library. I don't know if you want to pan around, but you can see the glow from the lights of the stacks. You can see all the murals and how big and pretty the room is. It's just an amazing, amazing place. You just want to come and hang out. We have the cement steps. Because there was an elevation issue with the building, we built these really cool cement steps for people to hang out and play. We do see a lot of kids and families, they'll just sit on the steps and hang out. And then we have nice chairs and places for people to relax and sit. So when did you open? We opened December 1st of uh, 2020. 2020. Right in the middle of the COVID. Right. Oh. Yeah. And so we, didn't, we didn't have a big grand opening or anything. We just opened the doors. Nice. <laughs> and then we did have a virtual ribbon cutting, uh, I think it was in February. And you can find that online if you want to see that. This is our laptop lane. So if you need to come up and charge something or you just want a place to do a paper or whatever, maybe work with a friend, they all have the power and the data that you can recharge your, your USB things or whatever. Yeah. I love no password needed. Yeah. Heaven knows. Yeah, no How password. many passwords? I don't know. You can come in and use our Wi-Fi free anytime. Where the history of Kearns, it kind of came about as a as its own place with Camp Kearns. And so in World War II, they built Camp Kearns, so a lot of the soldiers would come here and get the training they needed before they shipped them off to wherever. So up there you see the, the barracks and where Camp Kearns was. Up in the upper right hand corner is Louis Armstrong. He apparently came and performed for the troops here. Over here we have the Olympic Oval and you know the past with the Olympics. We do have the great space here in Kearns with the Kearns Ochre Park Fitness Center and the Olympic Oval that are combined entity now. So That's incredible. Such a great thing for Kearns. Yeah. We have the trains, we have Native Americans, we have the old time stuff. So this is Kearns Pass and I think it's a really beautiful Trans representation. Yeah. I love it. And so keep an eye on that Phoenix with the key. We'll talk about that in a minute, but I think that's a really important part of this mural. Very cool. Well, I was just noticing the lighting here. Aren't they? It's this beautiful. is not like typical libraries where you can't see when you go right. down the aisle. Right now, we're the only one who has this, but our other two new libraries will be getting it as well. So we lit every show with magnetic LED lights that just flip under, and then you can see all the shelves. Even the very bottom. Isn't that great? It's not dark. Oh, <laughs> That's a beautiful. geeky thing for librarians. Sorry, we just get so excited about that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So more computers. More computers. Please. We'll have a total of 28 computers in this building. Right now we only have about half that because of COVID. You can't be that close together. But eventually each of these tables have four computers on them. This is the children's area. So we have things, picture books, beginning reader books for the very, very beginning readers. And then we have chapter books and then nonfiction children's books. And we also have a really cool thing called a wonder book. So you used to have to take a book and then have a CD and a device to put it in. A Wonder Book has the, has the device in the book. You just open it up, push a button, and the book reads itself to you. It's really cool. So come in and check out our Wonder Books because they're really fun. Some So many books. 
So again, we have a, the biggest mural, and this is Kern's present. So we have the older woman under the tree who's quilting, and her quilt becomes Kern's, and then it flows back into a quilt again, and you see Salt Lake City up in the corner, and then the mountains up above. The picture in the center is the artist, Matt Monson, with his daughter, and he has a picture of himself wearing the Superman cape as a child and holding his father's hand just like that. So it's a really nice nod to his family history. And if you look, you can see Kearns High School down here and then the library is straight up from the high school. So it's a really fun thing. I've had little kids come in and say, oh, there's my house. So it's not an exact map, but it's really cool. And the pictures are so beautiful. I love the little animals over here that the kids can yes, sit on. Yes, yeah. and again, we have so our two fun, fun space and the circle chairs. Our fun orange chairs. Yeah. Can we try it out? <laughs> in if you come to this library. <laughs> so, you get to walk a lot and it's really good. Oh, another study room. So this is another study room and this is an important thing that the Kearns community really wanted and so we took a great effort to make sure we did this. These mosaics were in the old building on the exterior of the old building. They actually had to cut out the wall of the building to move these here. You can't just take a mosaic off the wall. And so they had to reinforce them. There's cement reinforcement down below. And if you notice this one, this is the phoenix with the key. And I asked you to notice it in the Kern's um, past, Kern's history mural. That was the artist's appreciation of the artist who did the mural. And I thought that was really awesome that he would represent her mosaic in his artwork as well, representing the great artwork. Together. Artists are great, aren't they? They like to really support each other. So this is our meeting room. Come on in. Oh my gracious. Wow. It's a big, beautiful space. Seats 186 people. This is a stage, and the colorful part is the top of the stage, so it rolls down. We have a screen and a projector. We have blinds on all of the windows and doors so that if we wanted to show a movie in here, we can darken the room and show a movie. These big doors over here are pivot doors that open up. So we can have an event on the outside and we have some big speakers that can go out there so we can have music and entertainment going on. It can flow into this space. These doors over here also accordion in and we can open up into the wider library space. So we can have a really large space for any kind of event that might be happening. Can you tell me about this current sign? So the same author, or artist, oh, sorry, art, I'm, a, I'm a librarian. Um, we're a librarian. Right, yeah. The same artist, Matt Monson, also designed the Kearns letters that are out here. And those are redwood. They're solid redwood. They're not even built. They're solid. And so if kids want to, they can come and sit on the letters, take awesome. a picture in front of them. Oh, yeah. I love it. So how many people can we put in this room? So and, a nice size. Yeah, and we have the tables and chairs to go with that as well. Phenomenal. So it's, yeah, it's a fun space. It is. And again, we have the TV, but we also have the big screen, so we can oh. connect any way we want. Technology in the building is really important to us. So this is our Create Kitchen. And this is kind of a new idea in libraries. There are a few libraries. Philadelphia was one of the first that started it. Culinary literacy is an important thing. And so we want people to learn how to eat healthy. We want them to learn how to cook. And if you're learning cooking, you have to learn math and reading, right? That's all kind of part of it. So this space is designed for demonstrations, teaching people, teens, kids, adults, anybody. We're partnering with the USU Extension. They're gonna help us with some classes and they have a lot of great classes on different cooking. And we also want to appreciate the culture that is here in Kern. So we want people to bring their own, cult, their own cooking methods and styles in because we all appreciate food from all over the world don't we so true. and so it can really build community and that's what we're hoping this space will do right now we're providing kids cafe out of it so if you're from 0 to 18 every day Monday through Friday from 245 to 4 you can come in and get a free snack and a milk that we have in the fridge and that will continue on through the summer 
incredible. I love it. And yeah. so if you needed a quiet space. Oh, I we can shut the doors. Do you want me to shut the door for you? Do you have to yeah. This way yeah, so we don't way. chop her in half. So these are garage doors that close. And we can have it be a small enclosed space, or we can open it up to a larger, a larger space. That is Oh, I hope that so this whole band will lift so that we can get right people in <laughs> and use these spaces. Incredible. I think we're almost done if we want to. Oh, look at that, we're almost out. So you can open this side as well. Yes, yes. And people can sit out here and mm -hmm. demonstrate there. This is kind of our cafe area. Nice. And, and here's our mosaic. last. Oh, we'll finish with our last mosaic that came from the building. This is the Pegasus. It's beautiful. Now yes. these were on the outside of the old, yes. the former Kearns branch. Yeah, and they were very important. I um, had many, many people come in and take pictures and say, oh, you saved the mosaics, I'm so happy. Or, or they'll come in looking for them. Where are the mosaics? They've heard we were going to save them. So. Yeah, so that's our Kearns Library. We want you to come visit us. Um, we are, right now you can come in and use computers for 30 minutes. You can check out books. You can look at all the wonderful things. And hopefully within a little while, we'll be able to open up all these great spaces for everybody. Thank you so much for giving us a tour of this. You know, fill in your blank. Visit your local library. Even if it's not your neighborhood, make it a play date and come on over to the Kearns branch of the Salt Lake County Libraries. Everything's free. You just need to get your library card. So have proof of where you live, if in the Salt Lake Valley. And you can come and use these resources. And even if you don't have a library card or you don't have proof, you're always welcome in the library. That's right. It's a safe place to find support and help and develop some talents. So thanks for joining us. Can I say one more thing? Yeah. Because we do have cards for students. So if a student or you're a parent and you can't come with your child to the library but you want them to get a library card, they can come in and get a student card. And it's free. They don't have to prove anything and there's no financial obligation. They can only check out like three books. They can use all of our online resources, and we could go for an hour on our online resources. But, um, and if the book is overdue, there are never any fines. If they lose a book, we won't charge them. They just won't be able to use their card anymore. But there's never a financial obligation. So if that's keeping a parent from getting a child a card, we do have that. We also have something called temporary cards that we can give out to, to people maybe who they can't prove um, homeless, they are experiencing homelessness, or maybe uh, they can't prove identity right now, we can give them a temporary card. So we do have ways around it. We want everyone to have access. I yeah. love it. Well, again, come visit your local libraries, and we hope to see you soon. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. See ya.